Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought, until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. 
Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Well, great salutations and welcome everybody to, um don't know if this will be a series per se, but a definite new title on the channel. Hitman 3 just released today. And I wanted to at least give this guy a go because it's a new title and I feel it's kind of my responsibility when something new drops to be able to at least present it to you guys. 47. And Come in, 47. Do you copy? Ooh, I'm here. Just one second. Are you in position? I'm heading towards a point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. And I won't lie, this does look pretty crispy. The cutscenes were had me a bit concerned there because it was grainy AF and I am not a fan of film grain on games. But uh, we are playing on Xbox Series X. Um, it looks, this is like fresh out of the box, but um, it looks to be running at 4K60. I hear that's kind of like the default um, and it is native. 4K60. Um, so that is awesome. Um, as we've all long awaited a time in which we could play. And up without going on too long here. Um, yeah, native 4K60 games, finally, on a console. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. That's okay. We're off to a good start there. Let's go ahead. Wow, 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 wow. Man, that does look good. It, sorry, nerding out a little bit on the graphics. Love the soundtrack too. And a bit of ray tracing there with reflective surfaces. And the texturing in the metal and all that stuff is pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, and the reflective surfaces on his helmet. Legit once again. Uh, I guess... No, no, no. Hang. Scale. Track is awesome on this. 47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the Windows controls from here. Fiber wire, camera, okay. Wow, 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 wow. But like I was saying, just wanted to go ahead and probably just do a 60 minute episode of this um depending on um kind of response i get on this one if you guys want to see more episodes make sure to let me know by crushing that like button crushing it. it's such a dated thing just beat the bejesus out of that like button if you want to see more episodes yeah i like it's a red-headed stepchild just go I'm ahead and position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. So close. They're not going anywhere. No. They are not. Um, I was just saying, yeah, abuse that like button. And um, if uh, it does well... We'll go ahead and make this into a series. Hmm. 
and so far thoroughly impressed. Yeah, lens flare even on the lights. Just gonna go back here real quick, take a quick look. Um, because yeah, it got a little wrapped up in the reflective surfaces, the textures, so on and so forth. And just make sure we didn't miss anything, which is such a common thing in games. Um, they drop you in his face and it's like, whoop. Could have been a weapon right there. Yeah, very smooth, very fluid thus far, but uh, not too sure as to why. Okay. Had to check it out. The dude is like in the crouch position. I was going to check that toolbox there. Definitely looking to see if there's some clothes that we can switch into uh, walking into an event with um, a motorcycle helmet on. Probably not the best idea. Um, and also, my apparel. I'm um, sporting a skydiving outfit. Probably not the best idea. But okay. One step at a time. Check out those textures and like Superman. Poof. Skydiving suit. Okay, cool. Oh, dude. It's not normally that you're in a game and you're, the reflective services like that are just that crispy. And you see the light reflections off the marble on the floor. Um, welcome to the scepter. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Um, view Intel. Welcome to the Scepter pamphlet. Uh, join us for the inauguration of Bureau Ghazali. Prince Al Ghazali invites you all to join him in the opening this milestone of building. Uh, you are all his personal guests. Visit the various bars, exhibits, relaxations, area, relaxation areas, and more importantly, man, let's all just enjoy ourselves. Agreed. Yeah, today was the presidential inauguration. Uh, wow, big sigh of relief. Uh, or just the ability to take your breath in the country. And um, boy, welcome to the Paris Accord. That's right, kids. Renewable energy, clean air, and fresh water to Hi. drink. Hello, greets, salutations. Alright, what is... What was that? I could push this person? Oh, wouldn't that have been a great start to push her right down in there, huh? Terrible. That's terrible. Let's be cool. Hello, Man. sir. Good day. Good day. Thank you. Welcome! Welcome. Hello! Good to see you. How lovely to see so many friendly and familiar faces here today. Now, this has been a dream of mine for a great many years. And as all of you know, I would like to thank 
like cousins, without whose friendship and influence this achievement might not have been possible. Thank you. I'm proud to yet again immortalize our great family name. But most importantly, this building was for all the people of the line, which is today the tallest building in the world. So I'm humbly proud to open the Burj Al Ghazali. Now, please, be my guests and celebrate, and thank you. How are you, sir? Good turnout. You're in my space. Hmm. Interesting. Good turn out. You have any questions? Yeah, crazy the number of NPCs in this one. His Royal Highness is really out there. And everyone else who's built a skyscraper. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly, and make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. Personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazi. Sir, I understand, but you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. Zana Kazim, A.K.A. the Vulture, one of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? Hmm. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'm sorry, sir. I'll be waiting I can't let upstairs you through, okay? in the reception. Please leave the area. Understood. Crystal. Can't let you through, sir. Love your shoes, though. <laughs> Dude's like, love your shoes. They're very nice. Could this be our first disguise that we need to uh, pull off? That was a big waste of time. Crystal Dawn might be happy. Okay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Feel that bit harsh. What are you talking about? Ugh. Wow, check that out. That is crazy. Push or eliminate or subdue. Obviously, this guy is our next target. So it looks like we'll have to wait for him to do whatever it is that he does.
Looks like this is our moment. Don't you <gasps> oh. Come on, help me out here. Hey, oh, wake up. I knew I should have stayed home today. I'll get to the bottom of this. Hey, what yeah. have I to freak out? Sir, there's a fight going on, and it sounds really serious. I'll look into it. Have a situation Who's here, hurt? folks. Anyone? Just let what was the that? pros do their jobs. You heard okay? it. it came from yeah. here. Okay, uh, I've got you, man. Hey, you! Stop! Command, I have nothing to report from my current location. Over. Well, that was dangerous. Um, let's go back and double check this stuff here. Um, could snap his neck, but, um, we'll let him hang. We'll let him be. What is this here? Huh? Oh. Probably don't want that on right now. Attract attention. Goodness gravy. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Just hang in there. Can someone help me? Oh dear lord, we gotta get going. Okay, oh. we need to man up. Hey. It's probably not I just need to do a quick okay. routine check if you Why wanna get you through. Check it out? All right. Just a quick pat down, sir. Nothing to worry about. I need you to keep your head down if you want to stay alive. Man, please ignore Right, that's it. Come keep in. moving, please. Hey, are you okay? You're coming out of it? Hey, are you okay? Oh, Mr. Kazim. Oh. Okay. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. <laughs> yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. We have a positive ID on the suspect. Leave the area and don't panic. I understand. Hello, sir. Command, I have nothing to report from my current location. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Take a seat. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here. And that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you 
to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Provident's partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. I can get used to a gig like this. Beautiful view. Lots of open space. Miles of open ground. Yep. Hey, bud. Hello, I don't mean to pry, but upstairs, do you by any chance know who's staying there? I, I hear it's not just the Royal Highness. I'm going to ask you politely to move along. I don't appreciate your line of questioning. All right, thanks for your help. to them. I mean, it would 
really make my day. Sorry, I have no idea. You should talk to security. I just work down here. Okay, thanks. Thanks for nothing. Mr. Luck, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right, whatever it is, better be good. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Just keep calm. Listen here, pal. I'm sorry. Mr. You're not Kazim, through. welcome back. So, you have the picture. Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Right this way, Mr. Kazim. Looking good today, sir. I apologize about the incident earlier downstairs. 
But you have to understand that we need to keep security tight, no matter who. All our guests go through the same procedure. I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. When they come to take me to the guillotine, if you you'll still be able yet. to speak a few. Questions. I highly recommend it. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Hello, sir. Mr. Cassis, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. Huh. Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazin. Perfect. We have Ingram right where we want him. Forty-seven, you know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. choice in the matter. It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe Yo, not. man. I usually have my people talk to people like you. I can imagine. I don't know how much Omar, I mean, the Royal Highness, has told you. But my guess is very little, so let me get straight to the point. My organization has been hit by an unpleasant cancer that can only be removed by cutting it out of the gut, if you get my drift. Yes, I do. Good. This little turd is spreading his vile, toxic cells, and I want him stopped, brutally. Chemo won't remove him, only the knife. And his file here. Arthur Edwards, a sly little devil if there ever was one. Me and my associates, well, we underestimated the little world. We want revenge. I think you and I share a common interest. I doubt that. But I want you to make him suffer. This is not a horse that needs to be put out of its misery. This is a rabid dog that needs to be put down. Am I making myself clear, Mr. Kazim? Yes. Consider it done. Good. We're now in business. We are. I'll have Miss Toe send you anything you need. We're done here. Oh, uh, one last question. I'm just curious. You're nicknamed the Vulture. Why? I find it's best to wait for the perfect kill. I think you'll be perfect for the job. Nice to meet you, Mr. Kazim. I look forward to receiving an update. Safe hunting. Guy. Yes, Mr. Ingram? Please show Mr. Kazim out. Yes, sir. Mr. Kazim, please follow me. 